Hey guys, Bill here. Out of all the emails that come into my inbox, the one that is by far the most consistent is about Bigfoot. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that I have the final answer on Bigfoot because, you know, I don't think anybody does. But what I have done is got together with my partner, Sam, at the BMA's channel, and together we've combed through lots of material about Bigfoot, and we've come up with a little list of what I think are some very interesting facts about Bigfoot. But before we jump into that, I have a very special announcement I'd like to make today. And that is, I've been hired as an actor by another YouTube channel. And what's even crazier is, I'm playing the owner of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now this thing is already done, and I'm gonna show you where you can go see it after Sam's report. So don't go anywhere, okay? Bigfoot is a creature that many believe to live mostly in forests of the North American continent. He is often described as a large and hairy half-ape creature in folklore and myths. The mystery surrounding Bigfoot has been around for hundreds of years and continues to this day. Amazing! We're sure that you'll be amazed at our 14 amazing facts about Bigfoot. Number 14 one of the most cited creatures of all time. With over 3,300 recorded sightings of Bigfoot in the US alone, it is no wonder why it's one of the most famous cryptids. Due to many people believing that it is a species, informed estimates insist that there are roughly 2,000 to 6,000 individual creatures for all of North America. Number 13. Is Bigfoot an alien? Many people have reported seeing large hairy beings emerging from UFOs. There have been UFO sightings reported at the same time Bigfoot encounters have occurred, along with cattle mutilations shortly after. Independent researcher Stan Gordon has testified to this fact through his various experiences. Number 12. Native Americans believed in Bigfoot long before the Europeans came to North America. They saw Bigfoot as a spiritual being, depicting it on totem poles, and had a name for the creature in their own language. They saw Sasquatch as a protector of the woods. Number 11. The term Bigfoot is a relatively new term. It is known by as many different names as there are cultures. It is also known as Jacko, Jingera, Yeti, Monkey Man, Old Skunky Bill, Rougarou, Tree Man and Sasquatch, just to name a few. Number 10. Bigfoots are said to make loud howls and screams at night, as well as wood knocking and rock clanking sounds. There are many examples of recordings attributed to sounds of Bigfoot, which are very distinct from sounds of other animals. Dave Cleveland from Estacada, Oregon, was one of the first to record Bigfoot sounds in 1972, and the body of audio evidence has only grown as technology has become more advanced and affordable. Number 9. Credible People Many of the eyewitnesses who have reported to have seen Bigfoot are credible people, not those looking to gain fame, fortune or attention. For example, in 2007, a law enforcement officer reported encountering a 6 to 7 foot tall furry beast whilst on patrol. Number 8. Bigfoot is speedy. Due to Bigfoot's size and structure, Usain Bolt would be left in the dust if he ever raced against Bigfoot, as the hairy beast is said to be able to run at speeds of 35 miles per hour. Number 7. Bigfoot Burials Some believe that no remains of Bigfoot have ever been found, because Bigfoots bury their dead the same as humans do. Number 6. Bigfoot Danger According to Bigfoot Finder, a website dedicated to spotting the creature, if you are confronted by Bigfoot, offering it food will provide you with an 80% chance of survival, whilst crying will provoke it to punch you in the face. In one attack, researcher Todd Standing captured footage of Bigfoots and their attempts to attack him by throwing boulders and 400 pound logs. Number 5 the Bluff Creek area. Many Bigfoot tracks have been found in the Bluff Creek area, the same area where the first people to capture footage of Bigfoot, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, shot their famous Bigfoot footage. This area has been dubbed the Mecca for Bigfoot, being the location of many footprints and sightings. Number 4. Strongest Evidence 
The Patterson Gimlin film is widely recognised as one of the strongest pieces of evidence for the existence of Sasquatches. The footage has been repeatedly analysed by scientists over the last 40 years. It has never been proven to be a hoax, yet various individuals have confessed to being the man in the costume over the years. Number 3 hair sample evidence? Even though more than 30 samples of Bigfoot hair have matched DNA from known animals such as bears, wolves, cows and raccoons, there have been too many eyewitness accounts of Bigfoot sightings for researchers to dismiss the idea of the possibility of Bigfoot's existence. Number 2. The First Discovery the British explorer David Thompson is sometimes credited with the first discovery in 1811 of a set of Sasquatch footprints. Many people since then claim to have taken pictures of the hairy beast's footprints, though nobody can produce any hard evidence. Numerous footprints are still being found, and some even longer than 20 inches in length. Number 1. Endangered Species in 1965, Bigfoot was officially put on the endangered species list in Russia, with Germany and France following suit in 1967. Even a spokesperson from the United States Fish and Wildlife Services in November of 2012 added the Sasquatch to their endangered species list because apparently their habitat had severely diminished over recent decades. If you want to be even more amazed, check out my channel called, you guessed it, Be Amazed. There'll be a link in the description, so please check it out. Hey, thanks, Sam. That was a really great report. And you know what it really points out to me? It points out to me how big of a subject Bigfoot really is. I mean, you can write books on this thing, and you're still just, you know, scratching the surface. I mean, it's really amazing. And you know what else is amazing? Me playing the owner of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I told you up in the beginning that I got this little acting gig. Well, if you want to see this thing, here's the link right up here. And I want to know what you guys think. Oscar contender or keep your day job, Bill. And also, don't forget, the link to Be Amazed channel is up here too. Sam's channel is growing like gangbusters because he's putting on some great videos. I think he puts on like four or five videos a week. So hop on over there, make sure you're subscribed and see what he's got going on over there, okay? And I'll see you next time. Open the pod bay doors, Hal.